The courtroom was packed to capacity with some FDC supporters left standing and closely following the proceedings. The Lord Mayor Elias Lukwago, who is the accused's lawyer, started by laying grounds on which he thought were deserving for his colleagues to be granted bail. Making his ruling, Chief Magistrate Ronald Kayizi ordered each to pay one million non cash while their should is five million Uganda shillings non cash and ordered that they return to court on the fourth of September twenty twenty four. Each of the students has executed a bond of five million not cars, which is special as to comply with the top of the bank guidelines. The magistrate also asked the accused to be released after providing their original national identification cards, work IDs, passports, and LC1 letters. He or she has presented to court an LC1 letter introducing him over and a copy of a national identity card, passport, or employment card, duly signed. Speaking shortly after the court session, the accused's lawyer Lukwago showed down these demands by the court, noting that his clients were unable to find the said documents since they were on demand. It's a travesty of justice for courts of law to insist on production of the accused person's ID or a letter from their areas of residence. It's a travesty of justice. Why? These people are incarcerated. They are on remand. Their freedom is curtailed. They cannot in any way communicate with their LSO leaders to be able to issue them with letters. And uh, you know this is an onerous condition. It's, more, it's very, very cumbersome. Indeed, in our opinion, it defeats the spirit of Article 28, which confers unfettered jurisdiction on courts of law to grant bail. Lukwago revealed that they will be petitioning the Constitutional Court to challenge the said bail guidelines issued by the Chief Justice. So we are, we are considering as the FDC leadership challenging this instrument, which was passed by the Chief Justice in 2022, in the Constitutional Court, because it, it's an affront to the spirit and letter of Article 28 of the Constitution, which confers unfettered jurisdiction on the courts of law to grant bail if they are satisfied that the applicants or the accused persons will turn up to answer to the charges once commanded by court to do so. On the other hand, Ronald Samuel Wandela, also counsel of the accused, said that they will comply with the said conditions but revealed that the court did not give a deadline on when these documents must be presented, but also said they were working tooth and nail to see that their clients are released today. Uh, court has not, the court, court has not given an ultimatum on when we should bring this, but rather the court has said that whoever brings uh, those two documents will be released. So we are preparing, preparing their bail forms, but they, they will be signed upon presenting those documents. So it's what we are trying to do right now. The court's algorithm is open, and whoever brings will be released. We want to make sure that all of them, we get them today so that they are all released today. Because as you had when in court, the chief minister to be away until Monday. So we wouldn't want people to go back until Monday after they have been granted bail. So we shall do our best to ensure that we can do so. The 14 suspects were arraigned in court on Monday and charged with being a common nuisance. But five of them, led by the Kampala Deputy Lord Mayor, Dorin Nyanjura, Kira Municipality Member of Parliament, Semjunganda, Nicola Thaddeus Kamara, Member of Parliament for Kabale Municipality, and Harold Kaija, were granted bail. The prosecution alleges that on August 5, 2024, the 14 suspects acted in a disorderly manner on Katonga Road in Kampala, blocking pathways and inconveniencing others, thus constituting a common nuisance. John William Ugenda. 
Ibrahim Kavuma for BTM News Today.